Now, Saudi Arabia launched its first commercial movie theater, ending its nearly 40-year ban on cinemas. In a few weeks from now, Saudi Arabia will be opening its first alcohol shop. Riyadh will see legal liquor sales after seven decades. Saudi Arabia is set to open its first alcohol shop. Alcohol, as is well known, is forbidden in Islam. But nearly every Muslim country has found ways and means to enable non-Muslims to drink and perhaps look the other way if Muslims broke their law. In Saudi Arabia's Jeddah, a crowd of 25,000 people, mostly youngsters, raved to electronic music, flashed glow sticks and unapologetically flashed their not-so-traditional attire just days ago. The megacity of Neom is an endeavor in that direction. MBS wants to make Saudi Arabia a leader in new technologies in the region. Islamic clerics are shocked by how dramatically society has changed in the last few years. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of sins, when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. 58 years old Muhammad bin Naif gave up his throne to 31 years old cousin Muhammad bin Salman. Saudi Arabia made a party place at a region about which our Prophet said, Do not pass through it unless crying. Is Imam Mahdi going to rule Saudi Arabia in the coming years? Brothers and sisters, Muhammad bin Salman is currently the Prince Crown of Saudi Arabia. King Salman first appointed Muhammad bin Naif as the new Crown Prince. However, King Salman later revealed his preference for his own son Muhammad bin Salman. In June 2017, Naif relinquished his claim to the throne to Muhammad bin Salman to keep power within the hands of King Salman's branch of the royal family. Muhammad bin Salman, famously known as Mr. Everything, was born in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He grew up within the Saudi royal family, which is one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in the world. His education includes studying law at the King Saud University in Riyadh. He has done several management courses in the United States, which plays a major role in his modern ideas. Mohammed bin Salman entered the political scene in the early 2010 with aims to transform Saudi Arabia's economy and reduce its dependence on oil. Mohammed bin Salman is among the richest persons in the world. He bought a $300 million French Chateau 14. Also, some reports claim that the secret buyer of famous Salvatore Mundi's painting is Mohammed bin Salman who bought it for $450 million. Brothers and sisters, apart from being the richest and most powerful man, Mohammed bin Salman is also known as the criminal tyrant and evil person. Well, let's talk about the things he did. In the pure land of Arabia, the first public concert in Saudi Arabia took place. The government of Saudi Arabia opened the first cinema in history. Also, they allowed LGBT visitors to visit the country. Brothers and sisters, listen this hadith. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Do not enter the ruined dwellings of those who are unjust to themselves unless you enter weeping, lest you should suffer the same punishment as was inflicted upon them. Sahih Bukhari 3381 Also this hadith, I fear that you may be affected by what afflicted them. So do not enter upon them. So this is the place whom which our Prophet said, don't walk to this place and if you enter, then walk by crying. And guess what? Saudi Arabia opened a party spot at this place. Many critics believe that Saudi Arabia is helping Jewish military. In the past, we know that they try to make some allies with Jews. Jews in Saudi cooperate on security in regard to Iran and its malevolent activities in the region have opened their airspace to each other. Jews technology is making its way into Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia has invested billions into the Holy Land. Brothers and sisters, we all know that Saudi Arabia has that much power to free the Holy Land. The leaders of the Holy Land do not have the means to provide the Saudi Arabia with any help. So for their own reasons, they are not helping their Muslim brothers and sisters. So we know how much Muhammad bin Salman destroyed the Islamic roots of Saudi Arabia. 
Saudi Arabia, which used to be the best place for Muslims to live, is now becoming like Western countries. We know that Imam Mahdi will come to rule the world at the time of great turmoil, when evil will be at its peak. It looks like Imam Mahdi will arrive soon to bring righteousness back. As mentioned in Hadith, Allah will bring out from concealment Al-Mahdi from my family and just before the Day of Judgment, even if only one day were to remain in the life of the world and he will spread on this earth justice and equity and will eradicate tyranny and oppression. Imam Mahdi's mission will be the establishment of justice and the eradication of oppression, fostering global peace and unity among Muslims. Also, Imam Mahdi is imagined as a beacon of knowledge and guidance, leading humanity towards a deeper understanding of spiritual truths. May Allah guide us and the Muslims of Saudi Arabia. Ameen.